Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions uh, achievement standard. In this video, I'll be looking at uh, Poisson distribution and uh, the conditions of uh, Poisson distribution and uh, the graph that uh, uh, models uh, this uh, distribution. And in my previous videos, I've already gone through uh, binomial distributions and uh, the uh, inverse binomial distribution. If you haven't already, please do check those videos out. Uh, Poisson distributions are discrete events that happen over a continuous interval. This one is easy to recognize uh, as you will be given only one parameter in the form of a rate and uh, lambda is the mean rate of occurrence and this is the uh, one parameter you will need to be given to use uh, Poisson distribution. Please note that uh, lambda which is the mean rate of occurrence will remain constant but it may be scaled in proportion to the size of the interval that uh, you're given. For example, if uh, mean number of accidents per year is 93, then uh, this can also mean that uh, we can expect 7.75 uh, accidents per month. So you will need to note that uh, this value represents an average and it does not need to be an integer. So in general, if the lambda represents the mean number of uh, events or successes over a given uh, interval, then the probability of x successes is given by e to the power of minus lambda, uh, lambda raised to the power of x divided by x factorial, where x is element of 0, 1, 2, 3, all the discrete values starting from 0, and e equals 2.718, which is the natural logarithmic base. And in this formula, we've got um, x factorial. For example, if you're given 5 factorial, 5 factorial means a uh, product of... Uh, all the numbers between 1 and 5, so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. And you will notice that if we are dividing by bigger numbers, then the probability will quickly approach 0. For example, 5 factorial you can see is 120. If I change that to 10 factorial or 20 factorial, so bigger x values, the probability will uh, approach 0. And just because of that, you can see that uh, for bigger x values, the probability drops to um, zero quickly so 11 you can see uh, it's approaching zero and uh, 12 13 14 is uh, insignificant in terms of the probabilities so you'll notice that the graph of the um, uh, Poisson distribution will be skewed to the right as uh, dividing by bigger values will give you a probability which will uh, approach uh, zero Moving on, we'll look at the four conditions of Poisson distribution. First one is random, so events occur at random and these are unpredictable. Second one, each event is completely independent. And the third one, the probability of event occurring is proportional to the size of the interval. And uh, the fourth one, the events uh, cannot occur simultaneously. What that means is uh, they cannot occur at the same time or in exactly the same spot. So in short, uh, we can use uh, RIPS, R means a random, I for independent, P for proportional, and S for events uh, cannot occur simultaneously. So looking at the first example, the number of earthquakes uh, per year. Second one, house burglaries reported per week in Auckland. Uh, third one, population density, number of people uh, living per square kilometre or the hourly number of customers arriving uh, at a bank. So that's the rate per hour. And the daily number of emergency calls in uh, Auckland. Uh, sixth one, the number of typos in a book and the uh, monthly demands for a particular product. So these are some of the um, examples where we can use uh, Poisson distribution. Uh, remember for Poisson distribution, you will need to be given only one parameter and uh, that parameter is uh, the mean or the average. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.